Hi, I am Caitlin here with Brittany today. Um, I'm the Community Outreach Director over here at TherapyWorks. And Brittany is one of our excellent PTAs and she's here with us today to talk about foot pain. So just to start off, um, you know, foot pain is one of the most common conditions we treat here at TherapyWorks. Um, and Brittany, could you tell us a little bit about like why it's so common? Yeah, so short answer, Caitlin, is that we spend a lot of time on our feet. Um, our feet are made up of very small bones. Um, and then between each bone, you've got ligaments and you've got muscles and tendons in there as well. They're all trying to support our body weight. Um, so that's, you know, short answer to it all. Um, the other side of it is we also, because we're on our feet more, we're more likely to notice foot pain earlier because we notice that it hurts when we walk or, you know, standing up out of a chair and That's going to take that first step, you know, feel like things are a little bit tighter than we would maybe a shoulder or a knee that you can ignore maybe a little bit longer than you could foot pain. Yeah, absolutely. Like if your shoulder, if it hurts to reach behind you, you might just avoid reaching behind you, but you can't really avoid walking around. Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so what are some of the most common types of foot pain or reasons behind foot pain? Yeah. So one of the most common is overuse injuries um, and then also just arthritis. Um, so both of those are going to be the leading causes of foot pain. Um, a lot of overuse injuries come from improper um, mechanics when we're walking, running, jumping, kicking. Um, improper fitting shoes can cause it as well. Um, and because everything's connected from hips down, if you've got a hip or a knee injury, you're going to potentially be walking differently to compensate for that. So then a lot of people will notice that they've got foot pain now, even though their hip or knee may feel better because they spent so long compensating and how they were walking. Yeah. And I do want to touch on that for a second, because we at Therapy Works actually treat a lot of double diagnoses, which often come from people who have kind of let an injury go and it sort of compounds into other joints when they, you know, leave something long enough. So you do see some of that in the feet you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, we may have a patient come in with right hip pain or right knee pain. And then by the time that kind of starts getting better, then they're like, oh yeah, my left foot hurts more because they start putting more weight on that left side. They start kind of favoring that left over the right to keep the weight off of the hip and knee. Um, and so then that left foot is having to do more work than normal if they were walking with a normal gait pattern. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so if someone is already experiencing some foot pain, what are uh, some stretches that will most often help? Yeah, so a lot of times with foot pain, um, especially if your pain is more like in the bottom of your foot, kind of in that arch a really good stretch to do is a calf stretch. Um, so, I mean, you know, it's something that you, you could look up on YouTube if you need be, or call one of us here on a complimentary consultation, we can show you how to do it. Um, but stretching out those calves, those tendons from your calves run underneath the ball to the ball of the foot, which cover the heel and the arch of the foot. Um, so a lot of times a calf stretch can help with the foot pain. Um, another thing I highly recommend to patients that kind of helps with stretching, but also kind of a massage is take just a plastic kind of disposable water bottle, fill it about halfway with water, throw it in the freezer, and then you can roll the bottom of your arches or bottom of your foot on that uh, frozen water bottle. It's going to ice the foot, which is going to help with pain relief, but it's also going to kind of act as a massage and can kind of help stretch out some of those tighter muscles as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and I should mention for anyone watching today that um, if any of these stretches or we're going to get to exercises in a minute, if anything causes pain, um, don't don't continue. A lot of these things will help generally for most people, but we haven't seen you. We don't know exactly what's going on. Um, so yeah, so just moving right along, what are some um, exercises that can help out with your foot pain? Yeah, so some good exercises to do um, for strengthening side is if, you know, take a kitchen towel, set it down on, you know, if you've got tile, um, linoleum, wood flooring, um, 
you know, set it down on there, sit down in a kitchen chair, and then you're just going to almost make like a scrunching motion with the toes. Um, that's going to help to strengthen it. Um, you could also do kind of a windshield wiper motion on the towel. That's going to help to get more motion into the ankle. Um, but another thing we have patients do is um, we'll have them just kind of sitting in a chair, sit, you know, sit on the couch, whatever is comfortable. And then you're going to um, essentially write out the alphabet with your toes. Um, so, you know, if your big toe was a pin, you're going to go through and write each letter of the alphabet. You can do uppercase, you can do lowercase, and that's just going to get all of the motions of the ankle covered. Awesome. Yeah, that, that's always kind of a fun one to do, not going to lie. Um, so what, um, you know, those are some good things to do once you have an injury or some pain, but what are some good ways to avoid foot injuries? Yeah. So like I said, a big thing when it comes to foot injuries, um, aside from the compensation is going to be improper form when running or walking, um, not having the right shoes, not having the right support in your shoes. Um, and so getting, somebody to do a gait analysis and kind of see how you're walking, see if there's other muscles that we could strengthen to kind of improve your walking would help with that. Um, and in fact, we actually do have our own um, runner's clinic, which we're going to do gait analysis at um, coming up Saturday, February 26th. Um, that in, it's free to the public. Anybody can come in. And if you're dealing with foot pain, we can get you in and kind of analyze your gait and see if there's anything we can recommend to help with that. Yeah. So I just wanted to provide a couple more details on that um, for anyone watching. And this is not just specifically if you have foot pain, but really if you're anyone who um, has foot pain or who walks or runs regularly, um, what so this clinic is going to have a lot of components, but the one that people usually get most excited about is the gait analysis or stride analysis, where um, we're going to have someone use your phone to videotape you on one of our treadmills, both from the side and from behind. And then you sit down with one of our licensed therapists to look at your form with them and they'll go over um you know what you're doing well, what you need to work on, and how to help you through that, you know, what kinds of stretches or strengthening would work specifically for you to help you use better form and to get the most out of your stride. So whether your goals are to decrease pain or to run faster or to just, you know, keep walking, going on daily walks without getting injured, you know, whatever your goals are, they can help you get there. And Brittany, you earlier talked about um, how ill-fitting shoes can also be a problem. Um, Ad Astra running from uh, down on Mass Street is also going to be at our runner's clinic on the 26th. Um, and so they will be able to talk to you about your shoes, make sure they fit right, um, talk to you about different features of shoes and how to choose them and sort of what to look for. And, um, and those are just a couple of the stations that there'll be, there'll be a lot more really anything running or walking related. We'll have a whole bunch of stuff there and it's all free. Um, so February 26th from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Um, and you can sign up on our website under the workshops um, tab and we'll send you updates on, um, you know, as, as we get closer to the date. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to jump in and add that. Um, but yeah, so going back to foot pain, you know, lots of people have foot pain. How do you know um, if it's honestly, if it's bad enough for physical therapy, when it's time to talk to a physical therapist? Yeah, great question. Um, so really if your foot pain is restricting you from anything you need to be doing, um, if it's limiting your motion that you've got in the foot, if you're unable to walk comfortably, um, you know, go running, if that's what you prefer to do. Uh, but then also if it just is persistent, if that pain lingers for more than a couple weeks, then I would say definitely consider coming in, even just for a complimentary, complimentary consultation. Um, also, if it's super painful, um, you know, it's one of those things a lot of people write off, you know, aches and pains of, you know, just 
weather changes or it's normal part of life and everything else. But realistically, none of us enjoy being in pain. Um, so if it's getting to the point where, you know, you're limping because you're walking or you are standing in the kitchen trying to cook dinner, but you can only stand on one foot for the majority of the time because the other foot hurts too much to put pressure on, definitely consider coming into physical therapy. Um, and then, you know, biggest thing is always err on the side of caution. Um, you know, I've mentioned it a couple of times now, we've got the complimentary consultations. And what it is, is you just, you know, you can call us up, tell us you want to come in for one. We set aside 10, 15 minutes with one of our either PT assistants or a PT. And we just kind of go through the history of the injury, how long it's been happening, you know, what your pain scale is, what makes your pain worse, what makes your pain better. Um, just kind of get an idea of how it's affecting your life um, and what you would like to be doing that you can't because of the pain. Um, from there, we send that off to your doctor. They sign off on it, say, yes, we can go ahead and do a formal evaluation. It saves you a trip into the doctor, which I don't know about you guys, but sometimes getting into the doctor is a chore itself. It can take so um, long. Oh yes. My gosh. Um, and then, you know, we can get you even some stretches or a couple exercises to get you going right then while we're waiting for that doctor's signature, um, just to get you by for a couple days until we can get you in a, for an eval and get you started on physical therapy. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, sometimes people do come in and physical therapy is not the right path, but um, we've been in practice for over 28 years now. So we we know the places in town. We know where to send you. If we're not the right people, we know other options. So no matter yes. what, if you come in for a complimentary consultation, you'll kind of get the next step in what to do to take care of your foot pain, whether yeah. it's us or something else, you know, no matter what, you'll know what you'll know how to take care of it. Um, so we talked a little bit earlier about, you know, how delaying treatment, um, can kind of cause other problems. So yeah. um, what are some other reasons why it's you know better to seek treatment earlier rather than later? Yeah, so one of the big things is that there's just more options earlier on. Um, kind of the quicker we can get in and address what's going on, the more we can kind of do. The longer it persists, you know, you're gonna be more limited in range of motion. You're gonna be more limited by pain. So it's a lot harder for us to do a bunch of things um, at that point quickly, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to get to the same place, whether you come in when it first starts or it's been going on for a while, but we can kind of get there a little bit quicker. If you come in when it first starts, um, you know, that makes sense. recovery if you time, you can only move from here to here. It's not, there's not a lot you can do at that point. It's going right. to take a while to build it up. Exactly. And it's one of those, you know, None of these happen, injuries typically happen overnight. I mean, sometimes they do if there's a fall or something like that, but the longer it goes on, the longer it's going to take to fully heal because there's been more damage done over time. Absolutely. Okay. So, and thank you so much for joining me today. Lots of, lots of great advice. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we sign off, Brittany? I don't think so. All right. Well, thanks so much, everyone, for joining us today um, and hope to see you at the Runners Clinic. Um, again, if you just go to our website under workshops, you can sign up um, right there and we'll send you a few emails to, you know, make sure that you don't forget and also know, you know, what to wear and what to bring and etc. cetera. Um, so we look forward to seeing you guys there.